We're going to do two questions regarding a mixture of gas. In this case we've got two gases, oxygen and nitrous oxide. And we need to find the percentage of each gas in turn. Now bear in mind that the percentages must add up to 100% so we can use that as a check. Now before we think of each gas in turn, let's just work out the total amount of gas. So we have 0.8 litres per minute of oxygen and 1.2 litres per minute of nitrous oxide. Simply adding those, 8 and 2 is 10, not down carry 1, and 0 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So altogether we have 2.0 litres per minute of the mixed gas being administered. So let's consider first of all oxygen. The proportion of oxygen expressed as a fraction is simply 0 0.8 which is the value for the oxygen over the total which we found to be 2.0. Now I want to do this by hand first of all. I'm not happy dealing with fractions that have decimals so the first thing I'm going to do is do the opposite of simplifying. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10 and that will allow me to get rid of the decimal point because we know that multiplying any decimal by 10 is the same as moving the decimal point one place to the right. I haven't changed the value of the fraction because I've done the same to the top and to the bottom. So 0 0.8 over 2.0 is literally the same as 8 over 20. And to convert this proportion, this fraction into a percent, I will be multiplying it by 100. Now it will make sense to simplify that fraction. Well I can half top and bottom to give 4 over 10 and I can half again to give 2 over 5 so that the calculation we set out to do 8 over 20 times 100 has been simplified to 2 over 5 times 100. Now we must take care when multiplying fractions by whole numbers I'm only times in the top number so I'm going to draw this little line across to remind myself what I'm doing so the answer is expressed as a fraction will be 2 times 100 which is 200 over 5 and to convert that into a final number I'll just make myself some space here we do 200 divided by 5 which is the same as 5 into 200 well 5 into 2 doesn't go, so 5 into 20 is 4, and then 5 into the final 0 is just 0. So our answer is 40%. Now to check this with a calculator, we don't need to carry out all these steps. Let's just check that I've got the 0 0.8 plus the 1.2 correctly added. Yes, it adds up to 2 or 2.0. And then that first proportion, the proportion of oxygen, we have 0 0.8 divided by 2.0. And now we just multiply it by 100. We don't care that it's an awkward fraction. And that should give us our answer directly, 40%. Now for the case of nitrous oxide, because we only had two gases, we know that the answer must just be 60%. But let's just check that that is indeed correct. Well, for nitrous oxide, we have 1.2 litres per minute, and the total you recall was 2.0. Let's turn that fraction into one which involves whole numbers only. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10. In other words, I'm going to write that out as 12 over 20. And then to find that proportion of nitrous oxide as a percentage, I'll be simply multiplying the fraction 12 over 20 by 100. As I'm doing this by hand, I'll look to see if I can simplify that fraction first. Well, I can half top and bottom to get 6 over 10, and half again to get 3 fifths. So my calculation of 12 twentieths times 100 
has become three fifths times a hundred. And again, I'm just going to be a little bit careful multiplying a fraction by a whole number. I know that I must only times the top numbers together and leave that bottom number alone. So three times a hundred is three hundred. Five by itself. It will come out to be three hundred over five. The final step we'll just be working out five into 300. 5 into 3 doesn't go, 5 into 30 is 6 and 5 into that final 0 is 0. So our final answer is 60 percent. Let's check all that with a calculator but again we'll only carry out the steps of 1.2 over 2.0 times by 100. So clear the decks 1.2 divide by 2.0 times 100 equals 60. The answer is 60% as expected because we had 40% for our oxygen, 60% for our nitrous oxide and that adds up to 100%. The same method can be used if you have a mixture of more than two gases. You'd simply find the total flow of all the gases and then individual gas by individual gas you'd work out the proportion as a fraction of that total and multiply it by 100. Thanks for watching.